Hello fashion sewers, I'm Colleen G. Lee and this is FashionSewingBlog.com. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to insert an invisible zip and this is what one looks like. As you can see the tape is here and the teeth or the hookers are on the back. And the reason why they call it an invisible zip is once it's in the seam it looks like that. This is a project I'm working on at the moment. Okay, let's begin. Okay, uh, I've got a, a sample pieces here that I'm going to show you on. Um, make sure the right side of the fabric is facing onto the table. It's easier to put it in that way. And then make sure that the right side of the zip is also on the table in the right way. I put markers on here, black markers there on at the end of the zip that's 0.5 centimeters from the waistline let's say and that is about three three point five centimeters from the bottom of the tape of the zip in order to actually insert an invisible zip it's best to put it in when the zipper is open so we'll start with it open remember face down and we're going to pin and tack before you actually go to the machine and sew so you um, take the right side of the fabric and also the right side of the zip and place it like so. Excuse my hands there for a moment. And it's about 0.5 centimeters from the edge of the seam allowance and you would pin and tack all the way down. So I'll just put a couple of pins in there and then I will tack and once I've done that I'll take it to the machine and show you how to actually sew the zip into the machine. Okay, done that. So now I, what I will do is then start pinning and tacking. And since I've done that, I'll come back to you and I'll show you how to insert it on the sewing machine. Okay, um, now at my machine, I've uh, pinned and tacked take those pins out there we go okay yeah that looks okay that looks like it's gonna do the job right taking it to the machine right. I'm actually going to start sewing on the tape first on the edge of the tape just to keep the zip in position once you're actually wearing it Change my foot. This is a zipper foot, as you can see. It only has one little um, cut out here for the needle to go into, and that allows you to get as close to the teeth as possible. Okay, I'm going to start with my needle down my work. I'm actually going to use my um, larger length um, stitch on here because it's actually going to be stitched on the tape. So let's get going. And you do the exact same on the opposite side. Okay, you do the same on the other side. Okay, as you can see. Right now, just for demonstration purposes, um, I'm going to stick with using the large stitch on my machines, large stitch length. But I would bring it back to 2.5 when you're doing it. Okay, I'm going to get as close as possible to the teeth. I'm going to roll the teeth towards the arm of the machine just to help it along. Just take your time, there's no rush. Slow 
how you take the time, then the new tea work will be. And it's going to be coming to a black marker there. Excellent. So that the, the um, actually the needle there is actually preventing me, the stopper is preventing me from going any further. So I'll back tack there and take my work out. Okay, so now you've got two rows of stitching there. As you can see. Okay, and I'll just show you the back. Just using contrasting thread in order that you can see it. Okay, I'm just going to do the other side for you. Right, remember to bring your length, your stitch down to 2.5. I'm sticking with what I have now. There we go. Right, just to complete the work, I now need to stitch the seam, which is this open part here. Okay, I'm out of shot for the moment, just bear with me. Right, put a pin there for you. There we go. Still keeping with the zipper foot in place. This is where we'll need to stop here to show you there. Okay, we've done the work. I'm now going to put mine at 2.5. There we go. There we go. Excellent. Let's just make sure that it does. Yeah, brilliant. That's an invisible zip. Okay, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment box below and I'll see you in my next tutorial. Thank you.